Good morning, guys. This is Brian, aka Texas Treasures, bringing another weekly what sold video. These are items that I have sold in, within the past week on Poshmark, eBay, and sometimes other marketplaces. And I make these videos to help you understand what you can find when you're outsourcing that will make you good profit. So if you appreciate this content, make sure you subscribe down below the red subscribe button, smash the like button, give me a thumbs up. That helps others find this video and comment below. What was your best sell of the week? Okay, let's get straight into it. And remember, we start with the lowest priced item and stick around to the very end where you will find my most expensive priced item. So please make sure you stick around all the way till the end. All right, first up, we have a Poshmark sell. We have a pair of Wrangler men's jeans, size 38 by 32. These were in a storage unit I purchased. The average cost of goods on that unit came out to 50 cents and I sold them for $12 on Poshmark. So 50 cents into $12. Moving up, we have another Poshmark sell. The, these Nike headbands, and I'm starting to sell quite a few of these, came from what I call the Nike unit, the last abandoned storage unit I purchased at auction. Paid about $100 for the unit, and it was filled with new Nikes, including these headbands. Um, the cost of goods on these comes out to about $0.25, cents, and they sold for $13 on Poshmark, and I've got a lot of different colorways, and I lotted them in groups of three. There's a pro tip. Um, one headband by itself is really not worth enough to sell it individually when you consider the shipping. So when you have items that are not worth a whole lot of money and the shipping would be a factor, lot them up. In this case, I did lots of three. All right. Another item from the Nike Abandoned Unit. We have a pair of Nike's Blue Midnight Get Sandals. These are new dead stock. Um, most of these shoes are 20 years old or older, but they're brand new and they've just been in storage a long time. Really cool. Um, these sold for $13 on Poshmark. The cost of goods came out to about a dollar. All right, same exact sandal, except these sold for 15. Same thing, paid a dollar, and these were size 5 wide, 5 youth. Moving up, we have a Nike Woman's hoodie, metallic heathered long sleeves cost of goods on these were 50 cents sold it on Poshmark was also from an abandoned storage unit that I purchased a different one These sold for 60 spent about 50 cents on it so Nike hooded long sleeve hoodie all right here we have a garage sale fine as we're moving on up the ladder I got a pair of Nike Alpha Sharks three-quarter football cleats size eight and a half we're in February. Football season doesn't kick off in, you know, until August, typically. But there are leagues that play. Yeah, some of them may play year-round. Picked these up for a dollar at a garage sale. Um, sold them for 17 on Poshmark. Nice flip. One of the 17. And here we have more headbands. These sold on eBay. Sold for $18. Um, this is a little different, little different colorway than the previous one. But also a lot of three average cost of goods on these came out to 25 cents and these sold for $18. Nike sells all day, every day. Always be on the lookout for Nike, especially when you can get it at a really good deal. And here's the next item. Also an eBay sell. These sold for $18.36. Um, once again, an average of 25 cents on the cost of goods. Interesting thing about these, these are the Laker colorway, the purple, gold, and white. Obviously, with a sad passing of Kobe Bryant, um, I don't know if that had anything to do with it or it's just a regular Laker fan. But uh, that, that was a, a sad day. I'm a big basketball fan. And, you know, rest in peace, Kobe and all the others, his daughter and all the other people who lost their lives that day. Really sad day. Okay, um, next we have a pair of Brooks Brothers. This is the Madison model dress pants, khaki in color. Pleated 100% wool, size 36 by 34. Brooks Brothers is a good brand to look for. Um, paid $4 for these at a thrift store. Sold them on eBay for $27.99. All right, here we have another Poshmark sell. These are a pair of Steve Madden Noreen black zip up combat boots. Um, these are cool. We, we got the got the tall block um what do you call it hill we have the textured 
the, the, the textured side right here with the lace-ups. Really cool pair of boots. These were also in a storage unit I purchased. Sold them for $32 on Poshmark. Paid about $0.50 cents when I averaged out the cost of goods from that storage unit. So a pair of Steve Madden combat boots. Got to got to go to war with the combat boots. All right, sticking around. Right, we're moving on up. Make sure you stick around to the end. Um, the prices are going up. If you haven't smashed the like button, please do that for me. Here we have a pair of Kohlhaan men's um, William II monk strap. That's that's this feature right here. They call that the monk strap right here. Uh, th these are black in color, men's size 8M. Pick these up at the Goodwill Outlet, a.k.a. the Goodwill Bins. Paid $3.24. And I sold these for $44 on Poshmark. So Kohan's a brand to look for. Uh, the Monk Strap seems to be in style right now. So that, that's a good feature to look out for. Also notice that, that buckle right there. Cool pair of shoes. All right, this one's interesting. I've had this one for a, a while. And... If you look at the title, comment below. What, what's missing in this title? Comment below if you see it. Now, at the time, uh, and I've had these for a while, I, I didn't realize that this right here, Vero Cuoio, I don't even know how to pronounce that right. It's Italian. Um, all that means is made in Italy. Now, that is some, a bolo. That is something to look for. But all that means is it's made in Italy. And shoes, boots, clothing made in Italy typically are higher quality and people look for them. Um, I don't know what the brand is on these. So <laughs> I sold them using this term where normally your brand would go here. But maybe that's why it took them a while to sell, right? But they still sold for $45. I also picked these up at the Goodwill Outlet or the Goodwill Bins. Paid $3.00. Sold them for 45, so that's a 15x return. So be on the lookout for shoes, boots made in Italy. Um, and as you can see, if you've seen many of my videos, boots do well, especially men's boots. So be on the lookout for those. Speaking of, here's another example. We have another pair of men's boots. These are Clark's um, Chucka boots. They are brown leather, lace-up, size 12 M. Um, the Chucka boots are really popular. They seem to do really well. And Clark's, you know, depending on the style, can, can vary. But Clark's, I do pretty well on Clark's as well. Picked these pair up at a thrift store. Paid $7.57 with tax. And I sold them for $45 on Poshmark. So shoes, it obviously, are one of the things I love to sell. And you can, you can make a good return on shoes. You just got to get them at the right price. Got to do your research. Got to know what they're selling for. Um, go to eBay. Go to Sold's. You know, pick the condition used. And then sort um, high to low to see what the top of the market is. See how many are available and know what you can get. All right. That was actually the Bolo Buzz, the sell of the week. That Those pair of Clarks, my high selling item. So here are the weekly totals, guys. Um, total sales were $316.35. Remember, these are just my one-off items. I also sell um, a lot of fashion jewelry on Poshmark, which I do wholesale, and I don't include that. These are just the one-offs. Three, $316 and change. Had 13 items sell for an average sell price, an ASP of $24.33. I spent $23.06 on the merchandise. That's a cost of goods of $23.06. Total sales of $316.35. ROI, that's an abbreviation for return on investment. So if you take your total sales, divide it by what you spend on it, that gives you an ROI of 13x. I shoot for a 10x return um, because think about it. The less you spend on something, but the bigger your return, that's an indication of how well you're doing. So we definitely want that 10x ROI. Um, once again, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe down below. I, I like to bring this content to you to help you out. If you haven't smashed the like button, do me a favor, hit the like button. And then lastly, comment below, what was your sell of the week? Let me hear from you. I want to know what you're flipping for a good ROI, so, so I'll know as well. Well, until next time, guys, happy treasure hunting.